a lot of work went into uh, accommodating all of the new safety standards which are now coming to the market, the small offset, the side impact. And because it was a, a brand new design from the ground up, our engineers were able to incorporate all of this from the very, very beginning. And using the latest modeling techniques that are able to optimize the design around some of these, which is uh, a challenging assignment given the overall proportion of this type of vehicle which has a small front overhang. Uh, the overall improvement is uh, body strength and stiffness, which you'll feel today, about a 76% overall percent of high strength and also ultra high strength steel went into the design. And a lot of work went into managing the energy flow during impact event to the vehicle. And in fact, one of the big chaos for us was uh, during the testing about a 36% improvement in torsional rigidity over the Honda Odyssey. And here's a few examples of some of the innovative ways that the engineers were able to incorporate to achieve these fantastic results. Uh, the first is a trend in the industry of using a lot more uh, structural body adhesives, uh, which has been a big payoff for us. Um, also, a couple of neat ideas. They have these uh, ultra-high strength uh, pipes that run through both of the front side members in the lower, lower portion of the cowl and the upper portion of the cowl, and also the same pipes in the A-pillar. So during an impact event, the load, the energy load gets transferred around the vehicle through the sill and up through the A-pillar. And also for the first time, uh, we made the closure in the area around the load bearing by using these pipes. So the energy goes around the passenger compartment. And as a result, it's a, a, we are anticipating a very, very good safety of the case, uh, tested by the government. Uh, same story for the side. A lot of work went into the uh, ring around the beat pillar with this ultra high strength steel, really to create kind of a quasi um, safety cage around it. We call it ISO body.